This is really hard. Like really hard. And super scary. I don't like this. All right, today's the day. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Woke up, super excited, eating my breakfast, and getting ready to go climb the world's largest natural pyramid, Cerro Tusa. So excited. I'm staying in bed. Yeah. I'm not going. Pat's not coming with me, so this is a solo female adventure journey. Waking up and looking out our window up at Cerro Tusa has me so excited this morning. All right, ready to go. The journey started around 7 a.m. meeting my guide and our driver. We drove about 20 minutes until we came to this little gate and the adventure began. So the beginning part is kind of just all fields and pastures and you definitely have to pass through some fences. And just beware that these fences, I believe through our translation, that they're electric. So you definitely don't want to be going around touching them. So if you need to get through them, bring a little piece of paper with you or a piece of clothing to pull it up and then sneak under. And we are here during the wet season or the rainy season. So all of these fields are just flooded and super muddy. I'm sure during the dry season, it's not like this. You still have to watch out for the big cow piles. At this point, I'm just kind of walking through them because mud, poop, it's all the same. The trail was not really a trail through the fields, mainly just trying to follow the dry ground. But then a trail finally emerged and I was hopeful that I was leaving the mud in my past. All right, we have made it through all the fields and hopefully the majority of the mud. Everything online says it's just like flat, which maybe in comparison to what we're about to do, it is kind of flat, but there's an incline. Like you definitely climb. There are parts where it's flat and then you go down, but then you go back up. So just know like none of this hike is gonna be easy. But time to put the camera away, put the GoPro on the head. This was the first of many, many helpful hands. This mountain gets some major runoff and walking in the trenches is sometimes the easiest route. Oh, gracias. I think this was Hernan's way of telling me to go faster. Just kept pulling me up the mountain. Oh, muy difícil. Oh, bien. Oh. Bien. We are on hands and knees, people. Hands and knees. Make sure you take lots of breaks and turn around to enjoy the incredible views. Whew. So, I read some blogs online that said you can do this without a guide. I do not recommend that, especially if it's the wet season. Because I mean, it's all just straight mud. The amount of times that I've slid and like he has caught my foot or like caught my butt or my leg and helped push me up. Yeah, I definitely could not do this without my guide. He is the real MVP. So make sure you get a guide when you come here. But if you like adrenaline and stuff, you like hiking, you like pushing your body to the limit, Cerro Tusa is a must when you come to Colombia. About halfway up, the scenery drastically changes, and for the better. 
No, unfortunately it's still <sighs> steep, but there's plenty of trees, roots, and vines to help pull yourself up. At this moment right now, I'm happy that my dad was such an adventurous person, and I'm also upset with him that he raised such an adventurous person because I could be like Pat, just chilling in the room or at a cafe, hanging out. But no, I forced myself to come climb up here, walking through a bunch of cobwebs. <sighs> <laughs> it's all part of the adventure. Well, that was our first fall. Wasn't too bad. This is really hard. It's gonna be rewarding. But it's muy difícil. But the views keep getting better. Let's go. About three quarters up, the trees start to become more sparse and there's little protection from the sun. Ay, ay, ay. Is that so difficult for two or no? What I mean? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> when you can, try to keep your momentum and just keep charging up. Okay, I'm going to be totally honest, this was my least favorite part. The ground was slippery and it would have been a long tumble down if I fell here. You can definitely hear the nervousness in my voice and in my breathing. Don't stop climbing. Just gotta keep going. Yotro, Yotro. Ah. Okay. Okay, you're okay. Just keep going. You're good. Ah. Uh, this is really hard. Like, really hard and super scary. I don't like this. <sighs> oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, is that the... Ah, yes! I'm on the top! Okay, let's do this. All right. Oh. Woo! Oh! Despacio. Woo! There it is! We did it!
Muchas gracias. Muy bien. Wow. Bien, bien, bien. Muy bien. That was the hardest thing I have ever done in my entire life. Wow. That was truly just me on my hands and knees, climbing. Look at things. So from the time we left town, got in the tuk-tuk, drove to the base and then walked up here, it was two hours, which Hernan said that that was like fast. I don't know if he's lying to me to make me feel better, but I don't really care at this point. I'm taking it. Wow, it's so bright up here too. We summited Cerro Tusa, the world's largest natural pyramid. What an incredible feeling this is. Got the placard here. Feel like I'm on top of the world. Woo! Oh, it's been so rewarding hanging out up here. There's a lot of bugs and they're biting me. I don't like it. So, time to head back down. At this point, I'm just sliding down on my butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the way down, take advantage of anything to slow yourself down. Vines, branches, roots, whatever you can grab. normal hike but for this one <laughs> este todo loco <laughs> oh, we are done we made it down the hill now back through the field what an incredible experience to be able to put your body through that. The 
clouds have lifted though, so kind of bummed out that we weren't up there when the clouds lifted, but hey, that's okay. It was still such an amazing experience. And I felt once. My butt's pretty dirty. Descendimos, no fue muy bien, no fue perfecto. Están invitados todos los turistas de todos los lugares del mundo a que nos visiten en Venecia, Antioquia, a conocer a Cerro Tusa, la pirámide natural más alta del mundo. Su amigo Hernán Rico los espera. There we have it. We're down again. Well, well, fell down again. That's just part of life, isn't it? All right. Remember when I said that the beginning part was like flat or not flat, but people said it was flat and it was kind of an incline? That's just like, it's flat. Compared to what we just did, it's flat. It's just rolling hills, which in my mind now are flat after what I just went up. We have one ridge going up right there, another ridge that we climbed up going up right there, and then one on the other side. And that makes up the pyramid. We made it. We are back on the road. Look at that thing. That one was a lot. So worth it though. So glad that I accomplished it. Now it's time to head back into Venecia and get some beer, cause I need one. Crazy ride back to town. Very unexpected, but so much fun. I have showered. I am, I'd like to say rested, but I'm not. But so instead, we're just gonna drink beer because it makes everything better. Cheers to an incredible day that I never wanna do again.